Okay, here's Zelda Part 12, and uh, <laughs> I had to kind of do some discontinuity. It didn't exactly work the way I thought it would. I thought that the heart piece would be uh, in a specific place Oops, randomly each time, but it's actually not. Like, sometimes it's not there at all, so I had to do it a couple of times. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so um, it's back to the light world. going to go get the Ether Medallion, which is up on Death Mountain, so use your ocarina, and go to number one. There's only four more um, heart pieces, which would mean one more full heart to find from heart pieces. And two of them are in the Swamp of Evil. And two of them are on Death Mountain in the Dark World, so... Hear about that. And that'll leave four more hearts to get from level 3, level 5, ooh, level 6, and level 7. And we'll have all the hearts. Okay, to this. Basically, just acting like we're going to the Tower of Hera here. Ah, oh, get out of my way, dude. Dude! Alright. Warping, warping, warping. Okay. Okay, come across here. Oh, that was assy. Oh, that was really assy. Now what the hell am I gonna do? I gotta wait for him to get out of there. Oh, this is a piss. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, here we go. Let me get the magic of ether. Zoom, zoom. The three medallions. Okay. I want to stop by Ansi's house and get me some stock up on fairies because I have zero. I have four bottles. What great place to get fairies. Right back here. Yeah. Get the old bug catching net out. It's two. need to do that. Okay. Alright, so time to head to level 3, which is the uh, Forest of Shadows. Okay, Fluid out, ocarina, whatever the hell you want to call it. Head to number 3 here. This way. Okay, now lift up black rocks, so that's pretty cool. All right. Up into the Forest of Shadows. Now, it's actually disjointed. There's a lot of different entrances. It's pretty interesting the way it's set up. The whole forest is basically the dungeon. Many entrances set up. Okay, I'm going to come up this way. Don't go in there now. And, uh, first things first, let's go into this entrance. <laughs> Okay, get out the old bombs. Okay, go this way. This. Okay, now that actually, uh, yeah. Opens up where the, uh... Where the item is. I do need to grab the big key before I do anything else, though. come back there. I just want to open it up. Now, I believe the, uh, I think, I think, do you go down here or is it the other one? I have a hard time remembering. No, this is wrong. Shit. Whoa. Shit, shit, shit. Well, this is where I wanted to wind up, so it works. Just as well. Okay. That's actually not where I want to wind up. I haven't done this in so long, I'm confused. Oh, I remember what I gotta do now. Shit, that's my mistake. 
Okay. Alright, I gotta... Oh! Die, you fuck. Gotta come over this way first. Oh. Having the better sword sure evens things out. Man, it's been... Okay, now, people have a hard time with this because uh, what you have to do is... Oh! Die, you fucks! You have to get the statue on there. But then they find it hard to, uh... You know, impossible to get through the door, and people don't realize that you can actually also pull the statues. Okay. There's the big key. Okay. And out, mirror out. Now that I'm disgustingly low on hearts, I just got four fairies. I should have done that first. I'm so anxious to get to this part. Okay. A couple of these might be out. Shot anyway. Oh, I need to... right. arms. Okay, that gives us the fire rod. Now you can't mirror out since I dropped in, so you need to use the hook shot over here. Get out this way. Back into this one. In we go. This time we're going this way. Oops, the other side has the key. You don't have to grab that, but it makes it quicker than having to get a different key later on. Okay, equip your brand new fire rod. Come up here and use it here. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though, because I hit an enemy with it. That's not what I meant to do, though. Here we go. I don't have to go after that key, because I got that extra one that I didn't use. I wasn't have to go after that. It's it's a pain. It's completely out of the way. You have to go through this room for a specific way, as you can see. This actually kills these guys really fast, which saves me some time. I'm gonna need to light all the torches. Use the fire wand, even though some of these you can reach without it, so that way you uh, hit them all. Okay, don't, don't hang around here. Oh, oh, I was hoping not to get hit by that. All right, um... Jesus. There. That's what I wanted. That will bring us down to the boss. It's a quick dungeon, as you can see. Quick boss, too. Hit him with the fire wand as many times as you can, and then hit him with the sword. Since we have a very powerful sword now. Quick. This is Mothra. Yeah, that's it. That's it for him. Who's history? So we've done level 1, level 2, level 4, and level 3. You might think 5 is next, but actually we're going to go to 6. <laughs> Something like that. I don't have a ton here. Could you hurry up with the damn fanfare and the sparkling crystal on the island? <laughs> Alright. 
Oh boy. Yeah, see, I'm saying the same shit as everyone else opens with. You know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? I don't care. This is the way I heard. If a person has an evil heart, gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And hero! And he alone will face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person in the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are in bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Epic fail. May the way of the hero lead you to some ass, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. All right, I'm gonna break the video here. We'll see you next time.